Okay, this week we're trying something a bit different. Uh, for layout 109, we're going to use the 70 pieces that come with the brand new deluxe track pack. We've seen the box art, we know what pieces are included in the set. We don't have the set yet, but we do have all of the items in our collection. So we're gonna introduce you to what you get in the pack and then build some new layouts using those pieces. So first up, we have two, of each the large switches. We have two of the female and three of the male small switches. We have four number of the medium straights, as well as 10 of the smaller straights. Only one of the larger D straights, as well as two of the ramp sections. You then get five supports for elevated track, six of the little straights, three of the male male, and three of the female female straights. We then have a male and female ramp, as well as a male and female buffer. 12 of the large E curves and 11 of the smaller E1 curves. So let's uh, put that all together and see what we can make. Okay, let's grab a couple of battery trains and test them out on this layout. So we did this as a live build, so we haven't uh, pre-planned the track, we just sort of grabbed pieces and started building as we went. Um, sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes we get crashes, <laughs> sometimes we get loopbacks, so uh, we normally will build a track, test it, film it, but this time we thought we'd just put, put it straight out and see what we can come up with with this new piece count on the uh, deluxe set. So the deluxe set is going to be the Brio 36030. And you get quite a lot of pieces, 70 pieces total, lots of small pieces, which are really good for um, with changing the direction. So you don't need any of the top bones or anything. We've got six, uh, three male, three female. So plenty of those, plus six of the little short bits as well. So that's always useful. Uh, nine switches, which is a lot, a lot of switches. Um, kind of surprised you only got two of the ascending curves, to be honest. Uh, normally that's quite a useful thing to get up and over in multiple places. I think on the 50 piece set they had, um, if I remember, they had four 
of the ascending curve. So a little surprised that they only had the two on this one. Um, and the bends, whilst you get 12 of the larger uh, curves and 11 of the smaller E1 curves, it's actually not that many with the amount of pieces that you get. Carriage derail. Um, so I had to be a bit mindful when we were doing the layout at first to use some of the switches as curves. So we had to replan things because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to make this last loop here. So that is something to be mindful of. Normally we like to use the switches instead of a straight rather than a curve because uh, that gives us a bit more control over where the trains go when they enter. Um, however, sometimes you have to work with what you've got and that was something that we found whilst building this set. It's the joys of running factory trains with carriages, always derailments, and this red train definitely needs new batteries, so we'll get that sorted. But yeah, otherwise I think uh, not a bad first attempt from a new layout using this, these uh, pieces. So we'll continue trialling new things and testing out different ideas and seeing what else we can build with, uh, with this piece count and we'll bring those to you in future layouts. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.